snap. There's InSync we asked for yesterday after the Backstreet Boys. Came I was out. fixated on that old 76ers jersey. So awesome. A complete digital makeover. We're talking drones, virtual reality, and 3D printers. It's part of a cool new tech center for high schoolers after class. Let's head out to Team 12's Trisha Hendricks, who's scoping out all the new stuff at the Boys and Girls Club in Phoenix. Looks like they're making a little television out there, Trisha. Yeah, guys, it does look like they're making a little television here. I know we have our own green screen. They have one, too. Right now, these guys are actually uploading the pictures they just took onto the computer. They're really fast. Take a look here. That's one of the pictures that they just captured. We have drones. We have 3D printers. This is really amazing. Paul's the center's director. Talk about how this all came about and really how lucky you are. Yeah, so this is really exciting, especially for this community. So this is something we've worked with Best Buy over the past year, um, working with their partnership, and we're just really excited to bring this to this community. Definitely a lot went into making this happen. Thank you to Best Buy for the grant. This is going to impact a lot of folks in the community and a lot of them low income, which and they don't have this kind of technology at home. That's true. Uh, one of the things that we're most proud of is one, this is like second home to these kids. They spend a lot of time here. They come here right after school. They're here till about eight o'clock and a lot of them don't have even access to internet at home. So be able to come in here, have access to internet, maybe apply for jobs and really have access to all of this technology is they just love it. They're they're fully it. embracing it. For yeah, sure. they are embracing it. It's really cool just to see. Thank you for waking up early with us. Did you have anything like this growing up? I did not. You know what? I I didn't start working for the club till I was older and being a part of it, I wish I grew up here. Just some of the stuff that they have exposure to, the places that they get to go, and especially this technology, I wish I had these advantages that they had. When they first found out they were gonna get something like this, what was the initial reaction? I think they were, they were excited, but it was kind of a long process, so um, they didn't realize like how incredible it was gonna be, but now that it's here, I mean, they love it. I mean, like you said, we're, they showed up at 4.30 in the morning because they were excited to be able to get in here and work even before school. Yeah, definitely the magnitude is going to reach very far. Grand opening is tonight at 4.30. You guys gotta check out this 3D printer. We're gonna give you a closer look at this, but check it out, he's already editing with this technology. It's really amazing. Guys, back to you. Did you have anything like this? Negative. I actually had a great video journalism program in high school, uh, probably the best in the state of Michigan. We had all sorts of toys that kids our age had no business using. So I know what you can do with this kind of stuff, though. Like, this really launches careers. You're getting yeah, your hands on things. Yeah, it sounds like you were spoiled, Paul. I was. These are the sort of things that you don't normally get to play with until you're in college. So this is great experience for those kids.